Uh, I think one of the best arguments for artificial uh, intelligence is in the key. Strieber's A Mystery Man brings up a really good distinction between conscious machines versus intelligent machines. He says that intelligence is just a manipulator of knowledge, uh, whereas consciousness actually knows itself and can grow from it, you know. Um, what's really interesting is that when this happened in 98, he said that nitrous oxide would be a really good medium for bearing memory, like infinite amounts of memory as opposed to just these megabyte chips, gigabyte chips that are really small. And just last year in 2010, he found an article that proved that nitrous oxide or some type of gas um, did help artificial intelligence expand its memory. I'll send the link in the, in the description or whatever. But yeah, I think they can be intelligent. I just don't think they could ever be conscious because consciousness requires a soul, which in turn has a past life karma that comes along with every kind of life. So I think that a machine, if it doesn't have karma, it can't grow, which means it doesn't have a soul, which means it's just getting knowledge, not, um, I don't know, experience. Um, in, in 1958, there was an 88% increase in the number of babies who had schizophrenia. What's weird is that it followed the um, massive influenza pandemic, sunspot maximum, of 1957. Now, Professor Robin Murray of London Institute of Psychiatry noted this, and Murray's Carter will incorporate it into his Teuton Common Prophecies, which is brilliant, okay? This, he's, he's definitely important. Uh, but anyway, the sun does affect hormones in our bodies, which automatically affects our behavior. Um, and the Mayans and Teuton Common, and... Uh, um, even people in China, Maurice Cotterill believes all knew about this, the holy sunspots, and of course King Arthur as well. Um, but anyway, um, speaking of telepathy and shit, in, in the conscious universe that I'm reading, it's so genius, skeptics' worst nightmare, just bring that up whenever they claim psychic shit doesn't exist. Um, this guy, Roger Nelson of Princeton, did a study of over a period of 30 years he, he worked there. And um, he would notice on graduation days that the weather was good always. So he did a study over 30 years. He said over 72% 70 of the days surrounding graduation had no rain at all. Whereas only 67% of the days uh, in the surrounding areas were also dry. So what does that mean, you know? Positivity does affect the weather. And I was watching the Harry Potter premiere. And they said earlier in the day it was so rainy and everything. But right when the energy was building up, you know, the weather just miraculously got good. By the way, I read All of Heaven is for Real in a Day. It's really good. I mean, I wouldn't buy it. It's kind of expensive. But I just read it, you know. Um, and it corresponds a lot to Swedenberg. And the kid, of course, knows about a cane. He said that is the only picture of Jesus that's the most accurate. And these kids don't know about each other. True, the author was a pastor. But I don't know if the kid would lie to that extent in Oprah interviews, you know. And, of course, Swedenborg um, verifies a lot of their claims anyway. I just found out Virginia Woolf was, war was born literally a week before James Joyce. You know, stream of consciousness, central. Okay, they're both Aquarius. And, you know, all that in Taurus trying to manifest reality <clears throat> with Uranus and Virgo. Revolutionizing through analysis. My Uranus isn't Sagittarius, so I revolutionize through higher actual knowledge. Whereas they like to... Have you know nitpick every little word, but you know, I think there's this high there. Later.